Next on Museum Secrets, a lost and ancient martial art. In Florence, Italy, inside the Uffizi, there are galleries filled with beautiful women and equally beautiful men. Some are gods, some are demons, and some are tough guys. This is one of the most familiar statues in the world. It is known simply as the wrestlers. And that makes sense because these men are Greeks. And the ancient Greeks invented the sport of wrestling. Wrestlers were the stars of the first Olympic Games. Their holds and rules are familiar to amateur wrestlers today. But this story isn't about wrestling, because that's not what these men are doing. The martial art depicted in this statue is a museum secret. Our investigation begins at a training facility of the Italian army, where elite paratroopers prepare for hand-to-hand -hand combat under the watchful eye of Aris Macris. Aris hails from Montreal, Canada, the son of Greek immigrants. As a boy, he became obsessed with karate. I slept, ate, drank, breathed martial arts since the age of nine. Many disciplines have Asian names like judo, jujitsu, taekwondo. Aris tried them all, but then he stumbled upon a martial art that had a Greek name, pancration. That's what sparked my interest as a young, uh, as a young boy, as a young Greek boy, as a young Greek Spartan boy. You know, uh, growing up in a Greek community and uh, very uh, bitten by the uh, martial art bug uh, to actually find out more about it. Aris discovered that in the Greek myth of the labyrinth, the hero used pancration to defeat the Minotaur. And in the real world, Alexander the Great ordered his men to master it. But over the centuries, pancration became a lost art surviving only in ancient images. I found the images very intriguing. I mean, it almost connected certain dots for me because many of the different martial arts I was doing did have similar techniques. I need to control the upper ground all the time, no matter what. Now, Aris travels the world, introducing pancration to modern warriors, like these Italian paratroopers. A lot of militaries, especially the ones that I've worked with around the world, they're trying to adapt to a pancration style type of uh, martial art because it provides something that is complete. On the ground, pancration looks like wrestling. But when opponents stand up, nice. it's more like bare knuckle boxing with karate kicks. So far, these trainees have been pulling their punches, but that's about to change. Uh, yeah. You work your way up? Uh, now up. Now you start up slowly. Later we uh, train uh, punch, the punches. The uh, punches? And then you throw everything in. Yeah. Beautiful job. Very beautiful work. Excellent work. That was a real fight. But believe it or not, they were still holding back. There are some pancration moves that were only used in ancient times. Finger breaks, small joint breaks, eye gouging, biting in the temple, the back of the cervical spine, the groin area, from wrestling to striking to kicking, I mean, and that's what pancration means, pankratos. Pankration means all powers, all encompassing powers, everything involved. In pancration, anything goes. And that brings us back to the statue called the Wrestlers. That is the father of all sculptures. Okay, that represents pancration to the team. That is clearly pancration. Aris intends to prove his theory with the help of two volunteers. Okay, so now this leg will go on the inside. Oh, that's the hook, exactly. So this way the guy is locked in. He arranges their positions to mirror the sculpture precisely. And this leg over here has got to be out. 
The guy on top, although he is locked in in a perfect lock, single leg hook inside to make sure that he can hook himself and attach himself to the other guy's body, the other leg stretched out on the side to give him more like a tripod position. The stance may come from wrestling, but one detail does not. What changes this from being a wrestling move into a pancreation move is the fact that he's got his hand up in the air in a striking position. His fist is closed. He sees you punching in the face, so he turns that way. That's right, see? Now, if it was a strictly wrestling position, he would have his head tucked down, and this way we know that he's, not gonna, he's gonna try to avoid the guy from actually going in on him, or going around his neck. Only he knows he's gonna take a punch. He'd rather give the back of his head as opposed to his face, or the side of his head as his temple. So the fist and the turning of the guy's head combined with the locking of the two bodies together is the ultimate description or example of pancreation. As this ancient martial art emerges from obscurity, perhaps the Uffizi sculpture will become known by its true name, the Pancration Fighters.